Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Today I'm going to teach you how you can use this beautiful handwritten Quran text in your projects. So you must have seen this in many of my videos and also on Quran.com. I made a video about it previously but people got confused. So I'm explaining a general purpose simpler method that will work in most softwares like Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere or any video editing software you use. This text is taken from Quran.com. The first thing you need to do is go to Quran.com and select the surah and verse you want to use. I'm interested in Surah Mulk right now. If you try to copy paste it naively, this method won't work. The reason is that uh, Quran.com has been updated. So the first thing you need to do is go to the top left corner, go to menu, then go down to previous.quran.com right here. Select previous.quran.com. This method will only work on the previous version of this website. Now select the Surah you want to use. Uh, once you select it, you can, you can uh, type the surah name and verse right here, just like you would otherwise. So I'm going to select 67, surah 67, verse 1. Okay. Okay, sir. So now I'm at the, at the verse I need. You can copy paste it from here, but uh, before that, let's go to the reading mode. Select the reading mode. So the idea is that uh, this particular line is taken from page 562 of the Musaf. The idea is that there, uh, there is an individual font file for each page of the Musaf. So the first thing you need to do is get that font file. So the good thing is that the font files are embedded into Quran.com, but only in the previous version. Okay, so what you do is uh, go to any blank space here, right click with your mouse, and then go to view page source. So we're going to examine the website source. I'm doing this on Chrome. Now press Ctrl plus F to find the font file. Now I'm going to search for .ttf, true type font, ttf. Now this is the font file we need. So we can simply select this, uh, this location and paste it into our browser. So the font has been downloaded. So I'll open it, show, show in folder. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is uh, name it to something logical. So I'm going to name it by my convention, QCF underscore P page 562, which was the 562, yes. Right. And then I'm going to right click and install it into my system. Uh, I'm on Windows right now. Okay. Okay, so now it's installed. Let's go, go back to Quran.com. So now you can select it from here from the reading mode or you can uh, select it from the translation mode, doesn't matter. But remember uh, to use the correct font file for, for the verse you want. Okay, so I'm going to select this and then press Ctrl C to copy it. So now I've got it copied. Now I'm going to go to Photoshop and try to paste it there. Okay, so now I'm in Photoshop. I've got a composition open here. Now I'm going to select the text tool T. Uh, press this T here. Uh, then go to anywhere you want to uh, paste your text. I'm going to paste it here. Now I'll press Ctrl B to paste it. Okay, so the text is pasted, but the, uh, the thing is it, it doesn't show up correctly because our font, uh, we selected the wrong font file. So I'm going to select the text again, press Ctrl A. To, I'm going to select the uh, complete text again. So I'm going to select the font we just installed. Q C F underscore P 562. Okay, right. So now you can see it has displayed the text correctly. The good thing is this, uh, is this is a vector, so you can scale it as much as you want and it won't be pixelated. And the first time you try this in Photoshop or any uh, Adobe product, this method won't work. Right out of the box, this method won't work. What you need to do is go to edit here. Press edit from the menu, then uh, go down to preferences, and then select type right here this option. When you're in type, make sure that you've selected the Middle Eastern and South Asian language mode and then press OK. Okay, once you do this, this method should work. However, you, you may need to restart Photoshop or your system. Uh, sometimes it doesn't uh, work uh, by restarting Photoshop, so you, you, you will have to restart your system. But once you restart your system, the method should work. I just showed you how to get the correct font file from cron.com. But the good thing is that I've downloaded all these files for you. So they're in a folder. So the idea is there, there is there is a separate font file for each page. So there are 604 files 
uh, pages and then there is a separate font file for surah names and bismillah you can download all of these from the description below if you still find this confusing there is another simpler method uh, go to this website quranclipphelper.com it was developed by my friend Muazzal Said. So this is very simple to use. You just select the surah and the, and the verse and then press copy here. Press copy and then click this to download this as a PNG or photo file. I've got this downloaded. So this is a PNG file with a transparent background that you can use in Photoshop. You can also use it in Word or, uh, or other products. Okay, let's go back to Photoshop. So I'm going to drag and drop this into my composition. Okay, let's scale it. So let's invert the colors by pressing Ctrl I. Okay, this method will work for most cases, but if you scale it, you'll see that it's pixelated. So let, let me show you. Let's zoom it a bit. Let's scale it. All right. So as you can see, it's a bit pixelated. I would highly recommend that you learn the first method and get used to it because it's more general purpose. You can use it in any product you want to, not just Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, any video editing software like Filmora, anything you want to use it. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you subscribe. I'm making lots of videos. If you go to my channel right now, you'll see that I posted lots of videos. I'm posting quite regularly now. And inshallah, I'll also be posting on the final revelation too. So inshallah, you, uh, soon you'll see very high quality stuff here. I mean, we're talking about the level of the merciful servant or even higher. So as you know, uh, I try not to cut corners. So make sure you keep watching this channel. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.